Here is your latest African news. Ethiopia Ethiopia buries unifying patriarch of Orthodox Church. The remains of the fourth patriarch of the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, Abune Mercurius, has been buried. The religious leader, served from 1998 to 1991, fled his country for 27 years because of political tensions and returned in 2018 to unite the split church. He died on March 3rd. He took over the leadership of the church, one of the world's oldest Christian churches, in the late 1980s after his predecessor died of natural causes. But the church split in 1991 over the naming of a new patriarch after the Ethiopian People's Revolutionary Democratic Front, EPRDF, removed the Dag military government from power. Mercurius, seen as hostile to the new regime, was forced to abdicate and later escaped the country to settle in the United States where he led a breakaway church. Algeria Algeria president bans export of food. Algeria's president, Abdel Majid Tebboune, has banned the export of foodstuffs that the country imports, the state news agency has said. The commodities include sugar, oil, pasta, semolina, and wheat derivatives. A government source stated that the president called it economic sabotage to sell commodities that the country does not produce locally. The president's decision also bans importation of frozen meat products. Algeria imports most of its food stuff. There have been protests in the past over increase in food prices in the country. Mozambique. Cyclone Gombe hits with major damage. Yet another cyclone, dubbed Cyclone Gombe, hit Nampula province with winds of 120 to 160 km per hour and rain of 200 mm. The cyclone made landfall in Mungikol district between Ilha do Mozambique and Angosh. It continued west into Malawi. The heavy winds caused extensive damage to buildings with more than 3,000 homes destroyed and many trees uprooted. Of 23 districts in Nampula province, 16 have no electricity. At least 12 people were feared dead. Many zones are still inaccessible. This comes only a few days after Cyclone Anna hit the same area, killing 38 and destroying 12,000 houses. Kenya Habal plants faced extinction in some regions due to destruction of indigenous trees. For centuries, the use of herbal medicinal products and supplements has increased tremendously with most people relying on them for some part of primary health care. Despite the adoption of a modern health system in Kenya's Nandi County, majority of the locals still prefer seeking medical attention from the herbalists. The herbal medicines, which were once in plenty, can hardly be found these days. The degradation of the natural resources is as a result of rising population and human activities including logging for charcoal. Locals have also been removing indigenous plants from their settlements and growing exotic trees like cypress and bluegum for commercial purposes because they mature faster. Herbalists in the region are now forced to crisscross other regions in search of herbal medicines due to the fact that government forests are the only places where one can get the medicinal trees for extraction. Zimbabwe the Zimbabwean president wants Kenya's help in lifting Western sanctions. Zimbabwe's president was in Kenya to meet his counterpart President Uhuru Kenyatta as the two countries are seeking to strengthen bilateral ties. The two presidents signed seven memoranda of understanding on diplomatic consultations, tourism and wildlife conservation, civil aircraft accidents and serious incident investigations. Other points of discussions included women empowerment and community development, youth affairs, cooperatives, sports and recreation activities. Mnangagwa was reportedly also in Nairobi more importantly to lobby Kenya, a member of the UN Security Council, into helping the country get rid of sanctions as well as getting assurances that Kenya will not be a sanctuary for Zimbabwean opposition politicians. Tanzania Multi-billion road project to be a hub for the country's business. 
The country's capital, Dodoma, will soon be a hub of business in East and Central Africa thanks to the ambitious 215 million US dollar Dodoma City Outer Ring Road project, which is expected to open business and investment space between Tanzania and other African countries. The project, which will see the country reaping benefits in the economy through the works and transport sectors, has drawn massive attention from economic pundits and normal Tanzanians. On February 9, 2022, President Samia Suluhu Hassan laid the foundation stone for the 112.3 km road project, where she paid tribute to the African Development Bank AFDB Group for providing funding for the project, which is expected to transform the face and image of the country's capital, Dodoma. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Follow, share and like our video. It's the best way of supporting us. Great news! You can now buy our African children's book, Maua and the Gardens of Plenty, a book that teaches children the power of great ideas. This book is the best way to start exposing your children to the African stories told by Africans. Find the purchase link in the description below. You can directly support this new series by becoming our YouTube member, Patreon or donor. And remember, Africa is watching.